Hi, everyone. Welcome to this special edition of Be Being Patient Perspectives. I'm Deborah Kahn, founder of Being Patient. Well, um, just several hours ago um, in the CTAD a conference in San Diego, Biogen responded for the first time, um, confirming it now has data to relaunch an Alzheimer's drug called aducanumab. Now, um, it had, this comes after it had canceled uh, a phase three clinical trial in order um, because it felt like it did not have um, sufficient data. But now the company is back saying, actually, we found it was helping um, early stage patients. So joining us now is one of those patients who is on the phase three trial. It's Jeff Borgoff. He is also um, a being patient advisor and and um, at the time, Jeff, um, when we last talked to you when the trial was being canceled. Now, after today's news, um, tell us how you're feeling. Oh, I'm feeling, uh, I, I'm elated. First of all, I, I, I remember when uh, it was announced that they were reviving uh, or resurrecting, as they, they said in the media, the, the uh, medication. and. Uh, I, I was, I just jumped up and down because I knew that the drug was working. Uh, and, uh, now, uh, after w watching the, uh, the press conference, uh, that was live streamed from CTAD, um, it did answer, uh, more questions that I had. Um, and it, uh, was extremely scientific, very technical, but, uh, um, the last, the last slide of the presentation, which is the summary, is really what I was looking for, and that really pre presented me with uh, what I was looking for, and that is um, that uh, they uh, were able to get the results from the larger data set uh, that they were looking for to move the drug into FDA approval next year. So, go ahead. No, so we so we know that, but yet, when were you taken? How many months has it been since you haven't been receiving um, the drug? And um, I mean, because it's been it's been quite a few months now. Yes, it has. Uh, by the time I go back on to the drug, which will be March, it will be a year. Um, and uh, certainly, that is uh, of concern to me because I know the drug is working, and it was. I believe it uh, it was working uh, working well, and uh, uh, so my thought is, uh, you know, what has happened in you know in that uh, in those twelve months, or what will happen in those twelve months, um, is of some concern. But uh, I think um, I I think that's uh, minimized by the fact that I'm actually going back into into the trial. And, so uh, I remember talking to you and your wife, Kimberly, and, and she confirming saying, yes, we really believed that this drug was helping Jeffrey. And um, but, you know, I, I'm curious, though, um, did you know for a fact that you were taking the medication and you were not on a placebo? Correct. Yes. So when the when the trial was canceled the first time, um, uh, I met with my clinical trial. Uh, uh, the primary investigators, and they said that I was on the medication the entire three years. Um, so I was never on the placebo control. Um, and uh, um, I, I, I don't actually know. Um, I, I guess what happened for me was, is that when the, when the, when the, Uh, but but now, of course, since it's been revived, uh, I, I would like to find out those questions. For instance, uh, there there's there was the emerge and the uh, engage. You know, I, I I would like to find out which one I was on. Was I on the the, the uh, protocol three or the protocol four? Was I on the larger the 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 the, lar the higher dosage or the lower dosage? You know what? What is what is my APOE four status? Those are the type of things that I, I'd really like to find out now. 
Where, is there any indication from Biogen that you could indeed get that information? Um, and, and what's the difference between those when you mentioned the engage and what was the other? The, yeah, the engage and the emerge. And so based, emerge. On, so based on the, uh, it, it, I'm giving it to you in layman's term. It's, it, it's uh, the best I can, but. Please, that's the only terms I would <laughs> understand. <Yes. laughs> so based on what I heard today, uh, the, the, the engage, uh, path or the engaged track was the track that showed the significant promise or, or showed the results that they were looking for. The emerge, however, did not. And so for me and for anybody else, that would be significant. Um, and so uh, I need to, you know, any one of us that, that was in the trial probably needs to find out or hopefully they will find out, you know, if what particular protocol they were on. And in doing so, also find out if they were on the the the, the, the version three or the version four of that that protocol. Yeah. Do you feel? I mean, it's been it will be a year. It's probably been what more like half a year since you've been receiving the medication. Um, yeah. Have you noticed any changes um, in terms of your memory or um, you know just how you are in general? No, I, I don't think for me it, it, it was. I don't think. Specifically, it was a, a memory issue. For me, it was more of a, a, a cognitive uh, issue, a multitasking issue, and also a behavioral issue. Um, it, it, and, you know, I, I can, there, there are certain things that one who is living with disease can be self aware of with regard to the way that they're behaving and things that are going on. My, you know, it, it, but there are there there are many things that need to really be observed by a caregiver. Um, in my wife uh, is, is my primary caregiver, and uh, she would she could really better articulate, you know, what my behavior has been uh, over the last since I was diagnosed with the disease, and and what has happened since uh, I w was taken off of the medication. Um, has she commented to you about noticing any changes? Uh, yes, yes. And, and so one of, the, one of the things that I was experiencing, and I believe I was experiencing it more acutely because of the cancellation and because of the great despair that I had, and sort of, I really went to a very dark place, Deborah, because um, uh, I had a lot of hope about the medication. And so, one of the things that uh, I, I was beginning to, uh, or was beginning to manifest because of the disease, is agitation, anxiety. Um, those are the types of things that, unfortunately, are, are come come along with the disease. And and and, uh, and and a lot of times uh, that a that agitation uh, led to uh, anger and 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 sometimes rage and all of those things were weren't they weren't reflected out towards anybody or anything. It was the frustration of uh, of living with the disease and 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 not being able to do the things that I I could do anymore. It was just it, it can be very frustrating at, at, at times and so. Uh, so uh, not being on the medication uh, really, uh, uh, I guess, exacerbated that emotionally for me. Um, I, I, do, I do take medication uh, um, that uh, has been, been very helpful for, the, uh, for those symptoms. Um, however, you know, you know th those, are, those are side effects to the disease and uh, it's, for me, it's really important to try to um, uh, slow the progression of the, the disease down with the um, or through the the the, uh, the uh, monthly uh, infusions of aducanumab. Did you um, were you ever told? Uh, you know, obviously, you don't know your genetic status because you told us you don't know if you're APOE four um, mm -hmm. a, a carrier. Um, did you? Did they ever tell you if you had the presence of plaques in your brain? Yes. Yes. Yeah. In order to get into a clinical trial, uh, um, specifically this uh, 
clinical trial that I'm speaking about, that we're speaking about, um, you, you have to have the plaque present in your brain. It has to be there. Uh, and so uh, I think it was probably the initial uh, uh, beta amyloid PET scan that was conducted, confirmed that there was plaque, I believe, in three or four areas of my brain. Uh, they don't tell you how much plaque is there. They, uh, they just tell you that it's present and it's in the, it's in three or four areas of your brain. If there, it, it, it's a little ambiguous, but they, they give you as much as they can without compromising the, uh, the, the protocol itself. You know, I have to uh, be honest that this whole announcement um, and um, the path of finding out um, first that the trials were canceled um, and then that, wow, there may be new data that shows that the drug was actually working has been a bit of a media circus. Um, and really, um, I, I'm wondering, has anyone from Biogen um, or the clinical trial sites reached out to you to explain what's going on? Yes. So uh, my clinical trial center is fabulous. The, the folks at my clinical trial center are, are extremely, uh, um, they were extremely humane about the entire thing. Um, a matter of fact, when the trial was canceled, I was made aware of that practically everyone on their staff cried that day. Um, so they, they, they have a lot invested in, 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 in they have, they, they, they're invested in their patients. Um, and, uh, and they did a wonderful job of trying to help me through this and explain everything to me. I did actually, uh, get, um, a correspondence, um, from, uh, a, a lovely woman at, at Biogen who reached out to me to tell me about, um, uh, the trial being reactivated, but I never received anything, um, uh, personally from Biogen when the, uh, trial was, canceled. Uh, of course that we, you know, we saw initially when it was canceled, uh, there was a press statement and, uh, the, the company, um, you know, thanked all of the trial participants and, uh, th there was a, a video that was made, um, thanking all of the participants, um, 3,500 something participants, but, um, nothing personal. Do you know um, if you indeed can go back into that trial? And I, now I'm assuming they're going to have a cohort of 3,500 people who may, most, most likely will want to get back into that trial. And now you have a period of time where you've all been taken off the medication. And so it does occur to me that perhaps they could get data around the progression of plaque um, because they've scanned you all presumably um, before you started taking the drug as you were taking the drug and now you know they have the opportunity to do so once you're off uh, the drug for a year um, any indication about how they could handle that or if you're top of the list to get back into the trial well I can tell you that um, the day it was announced that uh, the trial was being revived uh, my trial center said that they're ready to go uh, they could start, they said that they could start uh, the infusions the next day. Um, however, they do need uh, the green light from Biogen. Um, and I, I'm, I'm sure that Biogen is doing everything that they can to uh, uh, um, establish some clear uh, and concise guidelines for the, 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 um, uh, the persons, persons going back into, uh, into the trial. Uh, I think it would be a significant benefit to them uh, and, and I'm sure that the, the PET scans will happen. Um, it happened throughout the three years that I was on the trial, and I'm sure it's going to continue to happen, along with the MRIs and uh, the, the other, other diagnostic tests, uh, uh, most certainly. However, I think what happened uh, and what has happened uh, is that uh, because of the cancellation, um, uh, many people are no longer interested in uh, participating in the trial. Uh, they, they gave, uh, three, you know, five, 
seven years of their life and they, they at this point they might not have any interest to uh, go back into the trial. I, I've heard situations like that. Yeah, People well you can, you can certainly understand that because the emotional drain of being pulled in different directions would wear you down and I, I guess that's to be expected but yes. too bad for Biogen who was able to assemble 3,500 you know, test candidates. Indeed, you know that's one of the that's one of the more uh, uh, pressing issues with uh, with any clinical trials, and uh, and I think uh, clinical trials like uh, a neurodegenerative disease clinical trials because it requires uh, study partners, and um, uh, it does take up a, a lot of time, a significant amount of time. Uh, to participate in the trials. Um, so at, sometimes there are great distances that need to be traveled. Uh, so I, uh, I, I, you know, unfortunately there, there, there's, I think the enrollment uh, is going to be diminished. I, I don't know how they're going, if there's going to be additional enrollments uh, available uh, with the, uh, the, 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 um, the revival, but uh, um, I would suspect that, um, uh, it would probably need that. Yeah. Can you tell us, Jeff, a little bit about what it was like to take the drug? I mean, I know it was infusions, right? And how often right. did you take it? And uh, you know, how you felt? Were there any side effects? Well, um, I I can tell you that I always felt good going there because I was knew I knew that I was doing something ultimately, hopefully, for myself, but. You know, to be a to be a participant in a clinical trial is something that you uh, you're you're doing it for the greater good. <laughs> you know, it's it's it, that's that's the way a person needs to look at it. It's that they're doing it for the greater good of humanity. So I always felt good about that. Um, and uh, I I uh, would would go to the clinical trial center. I would take, get my infusion, which is. Uh, um, they always did a really good job of uh, assembling every, everything for the day or for the morning for the infusion. Um, most of the time, I felt a little foggy. Um, it, was a, it was almost like I, uh, uh, it, it, it was almost like cramming an entire day into a, just a couple of hours, so that how you feel tired. A um, little foggy, head foggy. Uh, I, and I, I believe that was uh, symptomatic of, of the medication, but it wasn't the it wasn't the aria that they they speak of. It was the lesser um, uh, um, head fogginess that that was associated with some of the some of the symptoms. Uh, during the during the uh, trial, um, they're constantly giving you MRIs and constantly monitoring you for the aria, and that, that was never present. So what do you want to say um, at this point? I mean, so much of the focus has really been on the company. Um, we're not even sure we understand what data, I mean, at least I don't particularly understand exactly what data they have now that made them change that mind and their minds and why. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's quite technical. Um, yeah. but. As somebody who was a trial participant, what do you say to Biogen? I mean, I, I think, you know, people like you probably have a lot to say. So, you know, here's your chance. Give them a message. What, what yeah. would you like to say to Biogen at this point in time? Well, first of all, I, I would like to say uh, thank you because they, they worked really hard, obviously, to revive this. And I think there was a group of people uh, that were associated with the trial, the drug, the research itself that said, you know, that there, we still believe that there's something to this, we're, we're not gonna give up. And so to those folks who are responsible for that, I, I, I thank them for, for doing that because we feel, and, and it's not just me, Deborah. there's, I, I spoke to many people uh, about how they felt that the drug was, was working. Um, even, you know, folks in, in the South uh, had called me personally and said that, you know, we think the drug is working. What can we do to get back, get this back? And so I, I, I think I would say thank you first. And um, secondly, I would say um, there's probably uh, needs to have a, a, the, they need to perhaps do uh, what I would say is um, 
you know, look at the game video, <laughs> you know, uh, to use a uh, football analogy, look, look at the, uh, the post game video to see what mistakes that they, they made with the cancellation and, you know, where the, the larger data set came from and the length of time that it took them to review that larger data set and, and perhaps learn from it. Um, so hopefully this doesn't happen again. Um, yes. No, well, thank yeah. you, Jeff. I, I think that that is such an important perspective. And, um, you know, I'm glad that they relaunched this trial. Um, I hope they get better data around this drug, because certainly when you talk to people like you uh, who really do feel like it was making a difference, I mean, that perspective should come first and foremost, right? I mean, you, you are participating in the trial. You and your loved ones, um, caregivers around you can tell um, whether or not um, something is preventing you from declining further. So, um, you know, that data is crucial to all of this. So yes. thank you for sharing this. And, um, you know, we, we at Being Patient, of course, always value the patient's perspective, um, especially in times like this. So thank you, Jeff, for sharing this with us. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thanks for having me.